a sassy nurse in the play Romeo and Juliet, but we did 50s. It was super fun playing this because, like, you're in this amazing costume with this big twirly dress, and I mean, like, it was just so much fun, like, being backstage and playing the part. In real life, I feel like I am kind of sassy, and I felt like it fit myself really well. Like, even if you made a mistake, it was fun um, to, like, learn from the mistakes and, well, even if you messed up, you could just all laugh about it and you do it again. And eventually we all got it and it turned out to be really great. You prepared for, like, this moment and stuff and then you get to just, like, do what you learned and what, like, you had fun with. I was mortified to have to do something that crazy and out of my comfort zone. But once I actually got into the character, I discovered how fun acting was and what a joy it can be to play different characters. And the Shakespeare Festival helped me discover my inner actor. Some stuff in the past has happened and it's just funny. Uh, like one of my friend's pants fell down on stage and everybody just laughed. <laughs> um, so just have fun with it. That's what I'd say too. It, it was super fun, I remember, especially as a fifth and sixth grader because you got that bigger play, you got like everyone watching you. That was, that was really fun. I mean, we were all like scared, nervous at the beginning. We were gonna like forget our lines. And when it finally came, it was like so much fun. Just We all just like, we all just had so much fun. Rachel and I'm a senior. And I'm Taylor and I'm a senior. <laughs> um, I remember just all the preparation and getting our hair done and um, just hanging out with all the other girls before the play. Yeah, I think that was just a big aspect of it, all getting ready to get into the community with it all. And then you just see the finished product and all working together and all coming together and then it's just so, um, so good, I guess, um, for you. Just, yeah. It's a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you enter into this experience, it feels so overwhelming so daunting and it's it, and it could be it takes a village I mean as the joke is it really takes everybody to buy in and to do it but the best part about that is when everybody does there's these new relationships and this connectivity that happens that you can't you can't manufacture and um, you're also sending a message to your kids that what they do is valuable and important and it's important enough that you're going to get bested too and share the experience with them. Um, can't tell you the number of conversations that I've had with all three kids years later. Um, do you remember that one time when we were doing, we were painting something for Shakespeare, and blah, blah, blah happened, and it's just a, such a shared experience that it's a wealth and it, it connects the whole family together with the school, it's beautiful. Um, it does help them with memorization, which if they come back to push for like middle school and high school, it does help them um, memorize things better, like recitations and memory verses, and it's good for life depending on what they want to do. I go to school and the fifth graders, right from the beginning of the year, they run up and they ask me, what play are we doing? When do we start Shakespeare? They are excited. They have this whole vision in their head of what it's going to be like to practice every day, to wear beautiful costumes, to have the sets, lights. We try every year to meet those expectations, and by we, I mean you and me. It's the parents that make it happen. And there's just lots of laughing as we try to get these little people to make the most entertaining show for you all. And to remember where to go and what to say. The kids need positive reinforcement and encouragement. It just doesn't come easy to most of them. And seeing the growth between day one of practice and the night of the show, it can be pretty emotional. You know, they're just kids doing these amazing things. Mostly I remember just being really, really nervous because I, first of all, I got the least amount of uh, words to say just because I was new and I barely spoke English. But the fact that I said them and that my parents were really like smiling in the background, taking pictures and holding a memory like that was cool because my parents later on, they gave me this book, actually they gave it to me like two years ago, a book of me my first time in third grade. And they had all these pictures of me and there was one of me in Shakespeare. And I was just standing there like this. Right, <laughs> I was like, right. wait a minute. So nervous. Really nervous, but I realized that, you know, 
even though it was all, you know, I was nervous through all that pain, but I went through it. It was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun because I made a lot of great friends. 